Well, you're li- we're back here with Jenny again. We're going to do a quick update on your house search in Arizona. Uh, you must be you must be extremely. I'm excited, but you must be extremely nervous. Why am I? Why would I be nervous? <laughs> because you're filming with us. It's a big deal. Like it's got to be heart racing. I mean, I did have to go put my eyelashes on for this. <laughs> your eyelashes aren't real. <laughs> Do we, uh, when were you? I you you just filmed with uh, the Bachelor, right? I did. Yes. When's that come out? When's that come out? Uh, I believe it airs July twentieth. Well, that's like in a few days. That's amazing. I know, I'm excited. <laughs> what did you guys talk about? Are you allowed to tell us? Um, no. I mean, nothing crazy. We talked about me, what I'm doing now, my kids, my husband, my family, what Dion is doing now, how we felt on the night we got sent home, like, you know, all the things. <laughs> and you cried. I did. I cried. I actually cried a lot. Their long shows are like two hours. Yeah, so they do um, just a kind of a... A throwback, oops, a throwback to uh, old shows, like the best of all time Bachelor shows, because there's been a ton of them. And I mean, I was in 2007, season 11. So, I mean, and this guy was infamous for sending two girls home and then doing The Bachelor again. So, yeah. I mean, it was good. <laughs> yeah, it must have been fun. You must still have a lot of friends from there. I do, actually. I keep in touch with a lot of them. A lot of the girls are in my boutique, and they are very, very great customers. And they'll post a picture of themselves wearing, like, a pair of jean shorts from the boutique. And then all the other girls will be like, it's a bachelor reunion. I got the same shorts. Oh, that's cool. It's fun. Do you have men's medium? Oh, my gosh. You know what? It's so funny. (laughs) Yesterday, I got on. I was like, I'm going to shop for Rob today. (laughs) <laughs> yes, I want to. You gotta have a, some men's clothes. Oh. I did, I ordered a couple of things, so we'll see how they come out. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Let me, and I'll do it. Ship them here. I'll do so. You know, I'll do the walk and everything. So I got five questions for you, real quick, and then we'll get into your real estate, where you're at with your house purchase, and all oh, that stuff, gosh. and search. <laughs> so, favorite movie. My favorite movie? Oh my gosh, I don't even quick, know. Quick, quick, first one pops in your head. Disney. I don't have a favorite movie. I don't ever watch movies. Well, you have to. You have to answer the question. So make one up. A favorite movie? Like you should have sent the sent me these questions previous. It wouldn't be fun uh, if you knew the questions before. I don't even know. All I watch are kid movies now. <laughs> okay, then name one so we can move on. Name a movie. Any movie. <laughs> How about trolls? Done. Perfect. Okay. Do you do you watch sitcoms? No, well, it's not a sitcom. I like Grey's Anatomy, and I need it to come back. I need it to come back on. I think they're I'm back so to bad. filming. I need them to hurry up. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to be a while, I think, until we. It'll be fall for sure, if not December, January. The January first run for uh, you could go all fall without having Grey's what? Anatomy. I know this is this is this is where this is why I work so much. <laughs> My just, shows are off the air. <laughs> we got to do something. Yeah, we were talking earlier about how much we work. We work too much. But you know what? It, it It's better than people who don't know how to work or like working. I love working. I agree. I, I don't know what I would do without my own thing. I mean, like, I'm always doing stuff for the kids. I'm always doing stuff for my husband, um, the house. Like, there's always something to do. But then... I like to like come in my office and sit down and do my own thing and have my own business. And okay, so favorite vegetable? Oh, um, I like cucumbers, carrots, asparagus. I like vegetables. I, I like, like broccoli. Do you like, I like broccoli? Peppers, like all the peppers. Oh yeah, peppers are good. Are you yeah. hot spicy? Like I love spicy food. The yes, yes, everything spicy. Give it to me. I'm in. Have you been out? With Monica, your real estate agent. We found a house that we love. No way. No, no, no. Back up. You went out with Monica to look at houses and you found a house. We did. So we found a house. It was a three acre lot, like a 6,600 square feet home, five bedrooms, five and a half bath. It needed a little bit of updating. It was definitely not 100% my style, but my husband loved it. Um, 
there were things he wanted to change, but I think the bones of it, he thought were amazing. And we put an offer in like the day we got home about an hour later, we put an offer in, it was over the 4th of July weekend and nobody said anything. We didn't hear anything, no updates, no, like we got another offer. Do you want to like bump up your offer? Nothing. And then on Monday they came back and said, we took another offer. (laughs) Okay, but was your offer your offer wasn't accepted? No, they took somebody else's offer. Well, so see, like, you, here the law is you have to be notified if you're in a competing offer. See, they didn't notify us at all. But and is I that the, know the law is here? Yeah, is that, is that the law there though? You should know if yeah. you're in a competing offer or not because that changes I, everything. Yeah, because what John said was like, if they would have said like, "Hey, we got another offer. It's X Y Z." he most likely would have went back and probably offered more. Yeah, but see, they, they here you can't say how much the other offer's for. You just get to know you're in a competing offer. So if I was going to offer $90,000 on a $100,000 house, right. for example, and it's competing, right. I might offer ninety five once final, one offer, ninety five. dollars But I, if, you, you, if you don't know that... Right. They didn't tell us anything. They just came back and said, oh, we took another offer. So what happened? Well, um, disappointment. <laughs> so you don't have a house then? No, but we're going tomorrow to a new build right right close to our house. It's actually more of our style of home that we love, like the finishes and the white and the wide openness of the homes. Um, I'm not quite sure if the backyard is big enough. But we're going to go look at the new builds tomorrow. So they have just like started breaking ground. So um, we will see. Okay. So you, you're not going to, you're going to see the sample home. You're not, yes. are you, okay. And then you'll decide how to build and what you want to build with the builder. Yeah. If the lot is big enough, if, the, if, if we can do what we, what we really need to do, because we're looking for a forever home and not like our next home, if that makes sense. No, no, it does. You don't want to move again. So why do you think no. the lot's too small? Um, no. So the main, the main thing that I want in a new home is a backyard because I have, I have three kids and two boys that are crazy into baseball and football and we need space. We need space to hit some baseballs and run around a field and play, play football or, you know, we need some space for that. So that's the main thing for me. So if, if we can't have a big backyard, I'm out. (laughs) So I'm, I'm just trying to think of what's next now. When, when, when's this meeting happening? So we go tomorrow. We are going to go meet, uh, meet with them and, I don't know, look around and see if it's, like, even feasible for us to do. And we're still, we're still like, maybe kind of hoping that the uh, other offer on this house might fall through. So Okay, yeah, and that's true. But you should have been notified you're in a competing. I don't want to get anybody, uh, and it's probably not even Monica's fault. It could be. I don't, I don't think they even told her. Yeah, well, obviously, think. yeah. Well, I would be making so, some calls, but then it doesn't really change much now. Like, what are you going to really do about it? So we're just going to, you know, maybe it'll fall through and we'll get another opportunity. Or maybe this new build will be amazing. Okay, so well, let's do this again. I mean, let's I do I got it. one final question. Okay, what is Ready? It? And you got to answer right away. <laughs> What color shirt did you order me? It's actually a really, it's like an acid, acid wash denim. You really Jeff? think? Okay. No, no, no. no. You don't, don't even know me, Jenny. Wait, wait. I thought in Canada, you guys wore like denim shirts with, de- with jeans and called it your Canadian tuxedo. Well, that's, that's a, it's a plaid shirt, red plaid. It's red plaid. <laughs> no, it's really cool. And so if you, if you, if. Guys don't like it. Women will still wear it. <laughs> okay. So you're going to ship it. I'll wear it and yeah. get some more. We'll do this again. And I, I found have you some, I, saw, I found you some more gray sweatpants too. Okay. Okay. What's with TikTok? Is TikTok going to get banned in the United States? I don't even know. I mean, I love it. It's one, It's my favorite social media. It is my favorite app too. No, it's mine too. Cause I'm a dancer and I love music and it's fun and you don't have to be so serious and everybody loves everybody. And I just... I'll be so sad if TikTok leaves. Yeah, me too. Someone will replace it. And uh, I find you can be totally creative yourself. You can just do whatever. I don't do any dancing. I just do some like comedy stuff. And 
and whatever I feel like, and it's totally accepted. People people like the the realness of TikTok. If you're phony on there, it's not going to work. No, yeah, you're right. You are so right. You just have to be yourself and smile and have fun and make people laugh or be weird, and it's totally cool. Yep, so be <laughs> organic on TikTok. Hopefully it doesn't get yeah. canceled. We're going to watch you in a day or two on TV, on ABC. So we will, I'll see how it goes. Also, it'll it'll be fun because I don't even think I watched, you know, I don't even watch those shows. So I told you, I have it on DVD if you want to watch DVD. it. <laughs> okay, we're going to touch base again. Oh, I have an announcement. Okay. I'm going to call you every couple of days because okay. I figured how to record on my phone a two-face Instagram video and I can record it on my phone and we're going to post that every couple of days on Instagram. You looking at your house, you're picking out your stuff. When my men's clothes come into your clothing line, we're going to okay, do this. Okay, deal. Couple, couple I'll times call you when it comes in. We'll open the box together. Oh. Well, it was nice <laughs> chatting with you. See you in a few days. Okay, bye. See you, Jenny. Bye. <laughs>